just puts my hand in the air and says, that's easy for me, boys. Crime. <laughs> Crime. I'm a dirty just trucker. Mate. You, mate, bro. I'm a shocker. Oh. Oh. G'day there legends, make sure you go check out my athlete programs, you do get 20% off if you use the code weekly vlog, all of the links are down in the description of this video, best comment can also win a program, let's get into this video. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, it is finally back, the sun is back, hope you enjoyed that intro as well, it was a little bit fire, um, I think uh, we're doing some great things with the vlogs. Thank you everyone obviously for watching, make sure you guys subscribe. Love you guys so much. You guys have been absolutely running it up lately. Every vlog just keeps doing better and better, um, which is just amazing, so thank you so much. Guys, it's the morning, it's beautiful. As you can see, we're taking the dog for a little bit of a walk. We're meeting one of my mates down at the beach, uh, Michael Bussey, big man. You would have remembered him from last week's vlog. Had the tattoos and the fake teeth, uh, good man bus man uh, taking the pooch for a walk down at the beach um, yeah hopefully the beach is a little bit cool so we do get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of that effect from the cool water where it does um, start to oh god the the river is flowing down here as well um, start to raise your core body temperature and get you ready for the game but yeah exciting times let's get it sun's back guys oh my goodness what a beautiful day this i think it still will be a little bit wet but the sun is finally back beach time how's how's the weather today mate good for a good for a call isn't it i take that when i set me up to sunny coast when i was angry this joint's all right goes all right goes all right doesn't it goes Look at the sky, it's literally nothing. All right, you guys have been keeping up with my socials, you probably know they've actually been crook all week, so um, on Wednesday I ended up sleeping like 17 hours or something in a day. Um, so yeah, I've been super sick all week. Um, so I'm starting to come good now, but I'm still a little bit crook. Got a bit of a sniffle, still a bit of a sore throat and everything. Um, the beach is great for it, it makes me feel so much better. So um, obviously just went to the beach then. Um, feeling a little bit better, but still like pretty bad throat and nose, like nothing too crazy, but during the week it was pretty bad. Um, probably for all that mud from last week's vlog, make sure you go check that out as well. Um, but yeah, so just trying to get that good and um, hopefully uh, it doesn't affect my performance at all today. Yeah. Bit of chill vibes going on today. Guys, we do have our bacon, eggs, our two potato roskies cooking up, which is nice. Obviously last night we did have our spaghetti bolognese for dinner. Uh, I was gonna have some more this morning, so I have got it out, but I'm not sure. I think I might just stick to this for this morning. Can't wait to get into it. Best day ever, baby. Game day. Probably the best couple of hours of the week. The sun is shining, which I'm so stoked about. Uh, my potato cakes are burning, I'll be back. Oh my days, ladies and gents. Dude. Once again, I cook up an absolute feast. Here we've got scrambled eggs into some spinach, into some wilted cooked spinach with two rashes of organic bacon and then two potato rosties down there as well, ladies and gents. Gonna go eat that outside while we enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day. The dog's here licking the ground, I think. Having a great time. I give her the rinds off the bacon so she's absolutely stoked. Guys, let's eat. So it's about 10.30, we're about to eat up our food and then we're going to go grab a coffee and then we're going to head off to the game. 1pm game today, so a little bit earlier. Uh, obviously it allows time for the Gold Coast teams to come all the way up here to play us on this beautiful, beautiful day. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, here we are at the ground. It's looking a little bit wet on the foot, which is no good. We've got our morning coffee and our waters and everything. And we're ready to go. Beautiful day though. Let's get it. G'day guys. We've had a lot of positive feedback from the commentary uh, from last week. So I thought I'd bring it back for another week. Now let me know in the comments if you guys do like the commentary or if you'd rather just hear kind of more of the crowd sounds. I liked the commentary last week. I thought it sounded good. Um, like I said, 
it's just good to um, give a little bit of education, but then also just talk through, I guess, what I'm doing during the game. Because a lot of time people are probably looking, thinking, what the bloody hell is uh, Prime doing here? So I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an insight into what I'm thinking of during the game and why I'm doing what I am doing. Um, so warming up here. Now you guys actually can't tell, but it is super wet underfoot. Like it's been raining for like two weeks, so it's pretty muddy underfoot. Um, like, like I said, you can't tell, but when you, you see us running out here, it is um, real muddy. It's been raining for like three weeks non stop, which is not good. I'm always last out of the change rooms. I don't know why. It's kind of become a pre-game ritual for me. I like to be last out and um, and run out like that. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what goes through my head, but that's kind of been my ritual for like three or four years. I've always liked to be one of the last people out. You probably noticed it on my previous vlogs. Um, but yeah, that's something that I like to do. Now, like I, I've been saying, like we've got a really good vibe and positive energy around the club at the moment, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, before the game, we've all got plenty of energy, which is awesome. I like to start in the middle to get myself, my head into the game. It's just good because I just get around the ball and get an early touch, as you can see here. It's good to just get your hands on the ball early. Joshy Wallace kicks an early goal for us. He's an absolute superstar. He plays fantastically throughout this game. You will see that he's an absolute superstar, mate. He's playing really, really good footy. A um, bit of push and shove, you can probably tell that I played soccer for about seven years of my life. Um, always loved to soccer the ball, I think it's I think it's a really good skill to have. A um, little push in the back here, you can't put two hands in the back, obviously. That's just a rule. Now guys, this is so important. Stick to your set shot routine. This is 20 meters out straight in front. I know what my routine is from here, but because the ground is muddy, you can't really tell, but like, look at my feet are just going into the mud. I didn't go out my usual arc that I normally would because I was scared that I was going to slip because I couldn't like move on the mud and I've missed my first goal and I'm like, bloody hell, this is not good. Get another opportunity here, uh, bloke misses the spoil, turn my back and get a handball over the top to freeze. Easy goal for freeze, which we love. He's a really good footballer and when his confidence up, he is unstoppable. We need him to play really, really well next week because we do have the ladder leaders next week, Redland Victoria Point, which will be exciting. Now, if you want to kick a goal from stoppage, make sure that you're always first to react. Here, I am, I am first to react, but unfortunately I missed the goal. But then I do get another shot of goal because someone does come up and give me a little bit of a hip and shoulder. Now, if you go down here, you always get a free kick. So now I've had my third shot in the first quarter. I've gone for a snap, and like I said, I was worried about slipping all game, and I've just gone and made myself look like a fool. Missed the goal and slipped over. So on the first quarter, we're winning 28 to 19, which is good. I've had nine disposals and I've kicked three behind. So I'm like, I know I'm around the ball, but I'm like, bloody hell, kick your goals, mate. And um, I, I wasn't actually that down. I was like, it's okay, because I'm, I'm around it and I'm thereabouts. But like, you just need to, you need to finish your dinner. You need to finish your work. And unfortunately I wasn't. It's really, really important to kick the goals when you get the opportunities. Into the midfield to start the second quarter. I was mostly midfield for the first half, running through there, just trying to get my hands on the ball as much as I can and get it forward as well. Now, this is holding the ball, but I've decided I didn't do it on purpose, but I've taken advantage here, um, kicked it forward. We actually ended up kicking a goal out of it, so it was okay, but I didn't mean to take advantage um, there. I don't want to steal kicks off, um, off anyone. Coming off a few times, maybe once or twice in a quarter, just to get a little bit of a rest. Try and only make the changes like two to three minutes as quickly as possible. Now, it's really important to hold your width in these type of games when it's dry, because a lot of people do get sucked in or sucked around to the ball. So it's really important that you keep your width and always follow up your kick. If you hit it, if you miss it, you're always gonna be there first um, as well. Pressure acts as well is a great way to earn the respect of your teammates. If you want to earn the respect of anyone, laying tackles and also pressure acts. Like Will Spencer, first game, um, he laid 17 tackles last week, which was just absolutely ridiculous. Ultimate respect from all of the players and all of the team. Halftime score, it's 48 to 38. We've got a nice little 10 point buffer, which is fantastic. Um, starting to feel good. Palm Beach kicked the first goal of the last. We kicked one. Now I'm f starting at full forward. Uh, the score here is 54 to 45. Just got to make sure you stay with the ball at all times. I was going to give a handball, but I do need to get myself into the game. I haven't kicked a goal. The Palmy boys are giving it to me all game. 
getting stuck into me, so it was nice to just break the shackles there and kick a nice little left foot snap. Like I said before, um, so important to have to have to be proficient on both feet. Now, this is an example of a tick lead. So what I'm doing here, as soon as freeze marks are, I'm sprinting back to open up that space so I can lead straight back into that space. So this is a space that I opened up. I've led back into that space, sprinted forward, and then come back at the ball. And like I said, got to be proficient on both, both feet. Here I've just wheeled onto my left foot and hit the target. So that is so important to be able to use both feet. Make sure you guys train both feet as much as possible because it makes you such a more versatile player when playing footy. Good kick here, um, use my body to push the defender out, but unfortunately, I think Paul pushed him back. I wasn't sure about that, I thought I pushed him in the side, but uh, that's all right. Could have almost been 50 because I didn't really give it back to him um, greatly, but that's okay, Jakey didn't want to give that away. Make sure you make a contest at all times if it's two on one. Um, just try and bring the ball to ground. Coming off here for a nice little rest in the third. And um, coming back on, back into the midfield, and like I said before, hold your width. This is so important. Hold your width, hold your width. When everyone else gets sucked in, if you hold it out, you will get a lot of the ball. We end up kicking a goal out of this, but that wasn't from me. It was from Jai Fitzpatrick, blind turning about eight people. And we've really started to put the pressure on in this uh, third quarter. We've really, really started to put it on. We're, we're pressuring, we're kicking goals, we're getting it forward. Every time you lay a tackle, the footy gods will reward you with a kick. I promise you that um, plenty. So. When Riley O'Dwyer gets here, I know that he's going to kick long. This is the importance of knowing your teammates. I know he's going to kick long. We're going to get to the feet of our big man. Unfortunately, Freeze drops it. EJ gets a nice little handball out, and we kick our second goal here, um, which is good. I think this is now 85 to 58. So we have started to put, the, put a lot of pressure on um, Palm Beach here. Third quarter ends. Uh, we've kicked three. Uh, sorry, we've kicked two in that quarter. Um, which is always nice to kick a few goals and get on the score sheet playing mostly uh, at full forward. In the last quarter I've lined up at centre half forward, so a little bit higher. You can play me kind of pretty much, I'm happy to play anyway, but as you can see on the scoreboard we're 90 to 58. So in the last quarter you're probably thinking these guys are almost home, you know they've played some good footy, but this is the importance of footy and of any sport that you play. Don't get ahead of yourselves. It's really important to not get ahead of yourselves. We almost did a little bit here, and I think that we just got a little bit complacent with how um, far in front we were. And I was getting frustrated. I was like, boys, come on, like, let's stay on, let's stay focused. Don't you even think about letting these guys back into the game. So here I've gone, and I probably haven't done what I meant to do. I said be proficient on both feet and uh, I'm not here. Now this is um, the last little bit. It's 91 to 80. Got to kick a goal here. Um, and if you let your man go up, just let it happen. Guys, I'm going to leave you with the live commentary for the end of this. Here we go. Oh, side kick. Go Don't back, boys. Take your time. Let the ball He's going to get in the train. Give it to the train. Perfect kick. Yeah, he'll love this. The cameras are all on the train. 190,000.1 followers, as we said. Benji Ma, he's been following the train. Right in front of the opposition coach's box. He puts this one through. This will put a knife through their hearts. Put it through, train. We love you at our footy club. We need you to kick this goal. He lines up. Bang! Got it through the ball. He looks in the opposition coach's box and he says, Come on, come with me! He puts it straight over the goal up boys' head and the players get around him and the crowd will go up. We love the train. All right, we're back into it. Uh, nice little handball, handball out here. I hope I left you in the trustworthy hands there of Adam Bovolino, who's an absolute legend, um, fantastic commentator we love. Make sure you guys, um, you can watch all of our games as well. They're live streamed on Facebook and on YouTube. So make sure you watch them every time because you will get to listen to that elite commentary there as well. Last uh, score of the game. 
luckily, little Joey the Goose for one fourth goal, which is nice. And, uh, of course, good to put the dagger through the heart and uh, finish off the game. Fantastic win. Everybody's stoked. The crowd was fantastic. Everyone was fantastic after the game. All the Palm Beach boys were great after the game as well. They all stayed around and had a beer with us, which was absolutely fantastic. We love to see that from the opposition club. So we do really, really appreciate that. What an absolute legendary bunch of people. Lots of love for them. <laughs> How do you go today, mate? How many goals? I only got two. You don't need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you like it? It's just in the change rooms, mate. Love ya. Um, g'day, guys. We had a massive win today at Rococo's Oval. A really big win, and we probably best on ground today. Kick five today, Joshy Wallace. How'd you find it, mate? Hey, very good. Tough day. Obviously, conditions. Sunny, but the oval's a bit chopped up, but we got the job done. That was well, I, I reckon you took about 12 marks today. Very generous, mate. Yeah, and it, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll see him on the vlog. Um, guys, your your first year here at the club, you moved up from Vic. How are you finding it up here? Mate, it's been really good. Um, late this season to come up, but the boys were amazing and didn't want to leave, so I'm here. Good place to live. You are a bit tentative to come up, and I remember when you did come in and we announced it in here, all the boys were up in arms. They were very happy. They were warm to, uh, to you coming to the club. So how did that make you feel? Mate, very special. And um, that's the reason why I'm here, all the boys. So, yeah, loving it. No. Mate, we love having you here. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, we had a massive win today. Thank you so much for tuning into the vlog. Do you have a sign-up for us? Anything to, anything to finish off the vlog? Yeah, the prime. <laughs> love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay sexy.